Hey guys, we got one more subclass to cover, the revamp of the Gunslinger. Your super is still golden gun, flaming gun, high damage, you guys know the drill. However, I do not know if there are changes to the default golden gun for reasons I will talk about in a minute. In your grenade slot, Nothing changes, incendiary, swarm, and trip mine grenades, and they all basically work the same as far as I know. Your movement abilities are also the same, high jump, strafe jump, and triple jump. The gunslinger class ability is the dodge, which is basically a shade step-like maneuver, although on a much longer cooldown, it's not really for spamming. The two upgrade options are marksman's dodge, where you automatically reload after dodging, and Gambler's Dodge, where dodging near enemies generates melee energy. The Way of the Outlaw block of perks features the following. Your melee is Explosive Knife, which is basically throwing knife, but it explodes after it hits, and that's after it hits anything. Walls, floor, doesn't matter. You do not need to hit a target. Six Shooter is where Golden Gun can be fired up to six times very quickly, but has a shorter duration. I promise that this does not seem as strong as it looks in PvP. The timer is very short. For PvE though, it's pretty nice. Bombs for Bullseyes is where precision hits generate grenade energy. Pretty nice PvE bonus and for PvP as well. Then you have Chains of Woe, where precision kills increase reload speed for you and nearby allies. So during a recent stream, some people expressed their gripe about the Hunter class ability not really being helpful for any sort of team play. You know, the Titan has the giant shield, the Warlock has the healing and the damage buff. It seems like Bungie is starting to dive down the more designated role route for classes, with Hunters actually turning into that true DPS role or DPS focused role. All of the perks here are fantastic for PvE solo and group play. This is really nice to see happen for the Gunslinger subclass. In the next block, we have the following. Melee attack is Knife Juggler, where a precision hit with a throwing knife immediately recharges it. They're bringing that back from Destiny 1. I'm actually surprised this isn't in way of the outlaw, considering all of the precision-based perks in that block. Line them up where precision hits with Golden Gun increase its damage and extend its duration. Yes, Golden Gun will now be able to critically hit. This kind of perk was something I was hoping for for a long time to help it with single target damage like on bosses. I know Nighthawk fills that gap right now, but something like this is pretty nice to see for Destiny 2. Then, linked with that sort of, is Crowd Pleaser, where precision golden gun hits generate orbs of light, which again is great for single target boss damage. With this, you can actually do boss damage with golden gun and not just feel like it's a waste in terms of possible orb generation or trying to chain supers together with your teammates. Finally, Gunslinger's Trans, precision kills reduce the cooldown of golden gun. So this block is based entirely around Golden Gun and getting as many of them as fast as possible. I gotta say, I am really impressed with the perks on Gunslinger. I don't think a single one of them in either block is a bad perk. They're all great, really cementing Gunslinger as a damage roll, not that it never wasn't a damage roll. Both blocks seem a little more PvE focused as opposed to PvP though, but that's not to say that they're useless in PvP or anything. Until Hunters got Night Stalker, it never felt like Hunters really had a place in group PvE play, and it wasn't until Super Damage got buffed that Celestial Gunslingers really even became a thing in PvE either. So it's nice to see them getting treated pretty well in the PvE scene in Destiny 2, at least based off of what we know right now. But that is your Gunslinger revamp review. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.